Hello everyone. I hope you are doing good. Today I will be talking about my last two trades which I took in the month of October. Also, I am planning to start one giveaway. It will benefit you guys. So I will discuss about this giveaway as well in this video. If you like content on my channel, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It will help this channel a lot and also it will promote this video on the YouTube algorithm. So more and more people will get benefited. Thank you for that. Those who are new to my channel, let me give you a little introduction. I trade double calendar spread option strategy every week for consistent weekly income. My profit target remains 10%. This is my 2022 profit calendar. My win ratio as of today is 80%. As you guys know, in 2022 stock market is moving very unpredictable predictable way and you can see I am making some good returns every month. So I will highly encourage you guys that you start paper trading. I have created a playlist. You can see the link to that playlist on top of your screen and also I have put that link in the description below. In that playlist you will find videos which will cover all the fundamentals about this strategy. So if you are motivated and you want to, you know, get results like this, please check out all the videos in that playlist. It will answer your questions. And if you still have any more questions, you can put your comments below or you can reach out to me on Instagram and Twitter. The Instagram and Twitter handle is also below in the description. So now let's start the video. Let me first talk about my giveaway. So what I'm planning is I have uh, seen many comments and people reach out to me on Instagram and Twitter. They want, you know, they have questions and they will like if they, you, they can directly talk to me. So I'm planning to do this as a giveaway. What I will do is if you have any questions or any feedback or anything you would like to share with me, please write that in the comment section below. And also add one keyword session. Next, in the next video, I will randomly pick one person from the comment and I will give him the opportunity to talk to me on one to one for some 15 minutes. So if you are interested to talk to me and on one to one basis, I am giving you this opportunity. Please in write your you know, question, feedback, whatever you want in the comment section below. And don't forget to put the keyword session. Those who will write the word keyword session, only those will be included in, in this giveaway. I, and I will randomly pick one person in the next video. And whoever will be the lucky winner, I will give him or her the opportunity to talk to me. Uh, we can schedule it on Instagram or something that I will talk to that person whichever they prefer okay so this is one thing which I am planning to start let's see how well it goes if I will see good response and people are getting benefited and they are taking interest I will continue it so if you are interested in this please put your feedback about this giveaway and if you are interested to have a session with me don't forget to put the keyword session I'll pick one lucky winner in the next video so this was about the giveaway. Now let's talk about my last week trade. <coughs> Sorry. So uh, let me move this. Okay. So on 18th of October, I entered this trade. SPY was moving around 370 to 371 that day. So first let me talk about what were the expiries. Okay. So uh, 18th of October. Here it is. Okay. So 18th of October. So as you guys know, if I'm entering anywhere in this week, I will go three weeks far. So first, second, third. So I will be selling 11th of November option and I will be buying 18th of November option to create a one week calendar. So three weeks far will be my, you know, three day, three weeks far expiry will be my selling leg. So 11th November and 18th November will be my option legs. And now talking about the strike price. First, I will check add the mini straddle price of 11th of November <coughs> sorry my throat is bad 
सो इलेवेंथ ऑफ नवंबर एट द मनी स्ट्रैडल प्राइस विच इज जस्ट एट द मनी कॉल एंड एट द मनी पुट प्रीमियम एडेड टूगेदर सो दिस वॉज कमिंग अराउंड टू बी ट्वेंटी वन डॉलर्स ओके एंड एज यू गाइज नो आई एड एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चन सो इंस्टेड ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन आई मेड इट एज ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके एंड सो मिड पॉइंट वॉज माई लाइक थ्री सेवेंटी वन जस्ट टू राउंड आउट ऑफ आई डू इट एज थ्री सेवेंटी सो थ्री सेवेंटी प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव विल बी थ्री नाइंटी फाइव सो दिस वॉज माई अपर कैलेंडर एंड नाउ थ्री सेवेंटी माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव विल बी थ्री फोर्टी फाइव बट जस्ट टू गिव एक्स्ट्रा रूम बिकॉज वी वर ऑलरेडी यू नो लास्ट फोर डेज वी वर गोइंग अप सो जस्ट टू गिव एक्स्ट्रा रूम आई इंस्टेड ऑफ थ्री फोर्टी फाइव आई केप्ट इज एट थ्री फोर्टी यू नो समाइम्स वेन वी फॉल वी फॉल वेरी फास्ट सो जस्ट टू कीप एक्स्ट्रा रूम आई गिव हियर फाइव पॉइंट्स एक्स्ट्रा फाइव पॉइंट्स हियर एंड देर यू कैन डू हियर ऑल्सो यू कैन डू यू नो इफ यू फील या वी विल गो अप वी कैन टीच फोर हंड्रेड सो यू कैन डू फोर हंड्रेड एज वेल सो फाइव पॉइंट्स अप एंड डाउन इज फाइन इन दिस स्ट्रैटेजी सो थ्री नाइन्टी फाइव एंड थ्री फोर्टी वर माई अपर एंड लोअर कैलेंडर्स आई डेंट बाय द मिडल कैलेंडर दैट डे ओके सो नाउ लेट सी हाउ दिस कैलेंडर परफॉर्म्ड so here is the excel sheet where i track my trades on day to day basis so 11th november and 18th november my option expires the legs and 340 and 395 as i guys showed you here 3495 and 340 were my strike prices so on 18th of october I entered every this calendar double candle was costing me 1.5 dollars sorry 1.5 points so which is 150 dollars Going forward on October nineteenth, this was in a loss of point six seven percent. On October twentieth, it was in a loss of point two six seven percent. So I thought, okay, I will just buy more. So usually I don't go in one go, you know, full. Many people ask me how I decide when to enter. This is also a very good question. So let me cover that also as well. So you can see, I was planning like every week I enter. mostly every week sometimes i feel when let let's say wix is above 40 or 35 then i feel hesitant or i go you know smaller position so that week i might avoid or something like that <coughs> sorry my throat is so bad anyway so yeah but uh, this week when i was planning so what i do is you know, let's say i'm planning uh, to enter this week so what i will do is any day let's say 17th what i will do is i'll check okay what is the first i will do all the maths like what is the straddle price and okay i want to buy 340 and 395 okay then i will just calculate 70 and then i will go back and see for all like previous 4 5 days what is the price going on you know and then i will see whether it is becoming cheaper or not sometimes it will be cheaper sometimes it won't it will be toggling around that and sometimes it will be expensive if it is the maximum then i won't buy that day i will wait for the next day usually it goes few points up and down like 2 3% up and down so if it is maximum i won't buy if it is almost same then i buy some amount so like this day october 18th i bought 150 okay and then next day it became 149 next next day it became 146 so you can see it is not going much but it is you know toggling around so i will buy in few few chunks in few few installments like that i do so i average down so this week i will be mostly averaging my uh, like 18 to 21 and even on 24 to 27th i will be averaging if i feel like okay it is going down and there is no you know there is good chance it will recover back so like that i do so on october 18th i bought few then october 20th i bought few more so my average was 1.48 So now I will show you both. In case you you know entered in on this day on October eighteen, and you don't want to you know get <coughs> sorry, uh, you don't want to touch your uh, trade every day. Check it. You are busy. So I'll also go where you don't average down. And here in this tab, I will show you what was my uh, you know portfolio doing like with averaging. So without averaging, it was two point six seven percent loss. and with averaging it was 1.35% loss on october 20th okay anyway so october 21st uh without averaging 4.67% and 
and with averaging 6.08% profit. On October 24th, I was able to see 11.82% profit, so I exited that trade. Even without averaging, it was 10.67. So even if you haven't averaged, you have ex could have exited this trade with good profit of 10%. Just to show on October 24th by closing, the profit went down. So that's why I always try, you know, whenever I see 10% profit, I exit. Sometimes it happens, it increases, but there are also good chances it might go down. So whenever I see 10% profit, I exit. So this was one trade which I took and I exited with 11.82% profit. And you can see SPY didn't move much. First it went down and it went up. So I didn't have to touch it. Like I didn't buy the middle calendar. I would have bought middle calendar. Let's say uh, it has reached till here. Let's say on this day. And we have already reached 386. And I... <coughs> Sorry. And usually I would have reached 10% profit by on this day. But even then, if I'm not seeing 10% profit, then it, it is possible it will start going down. So on this day, if I'm not able to see 10% profit, then I would have bought this middle calendar. So on this day, why I'm saying this day, like uh, my middle was this and it has went almost halfway through. We started at 370, 395 is my upper uh, calendar. So 390, 385 to 390 like that point is a good point uh, because there is a good chance it can start coming down and if it comes down my middle calendar will start giving me profit so this is my strategy but here within few days only i was able to observe 10 percent profit so i didn't have to buy the middle calendar and when it goes down then i don't you know buy at the midpoint i see how it is going so here you can see for three days it went down let's say next day instead of going up big up move it was a big down move let's say it closed here so like it has reached halfway but even then i won't buy the middle calendar because when we go down we go down fast i'll wait for the third day how it is happening again on the third day let's say it is a big move like we are falling drastically you know sometimes it happens like here it was happening then i wait to buy the middle calendar usually what happens when we fall wix increases and by the time you will reach here somewhere, you would see 10% profit. So you don't have to buy the middle calendar. You will exit, you know, easily. <coughs> but sometimes it doesn't happen. It is going very slow. Let's say it is reaching here. Then you can plan if it is going very, very slow. Like here you can see it is going. But then here you see it is very small candles. So now there's less chances it will show a big move. Even if it shows big move, it will be like here only. Let's say it goes here and then here there are small, small candles here only. Then there is a good chance like, you know, the volume is dying out. Then I will buy the middle calendar. So if let's say I would have entered here and my lower you know, calendar was at 340. These two days I won't buy. Here I will see, okay, it is dying out. So here and there in, in these two days, I will buy the middle calendar. So this is my strategy. Anyway, so this was my October 18th date. Now I will go to the my next trade which i took on october 26th this will be little interesting trade okay, let me move these so <coughs> i entered this trade on october 26th so first let me just move these guys here so october 26th till i was in this trade till this was a little longer trade i exited on in november 10th uh, so November 10th yeah, this was the exit date so it was something like this this uh, just I will put the values here uh, just bear with me this was 405 405 and 350 yes now we are done okay so I entered this trade on what was that 26th and 
I exited on 10th of November. Okay. So on 26th of October, I entered this date. On this day, 26th of October, SPY was around 382. So again, the same strategy. Mm, 26th of October. Okay, here it is. So I'll go three weeks far, first, second, third. So I will be selling 18th of November and I will be buying 25th of November options to create a calendar. Then I'll check the straddle price. <coughs> Sorry. So straddle price was coming out to be some 20 points, something like that, 20, 21 points again. And then I added extra cushion and made it as 25 points. So now again, you can see we are already up. So upper side, I added 25 points, but lower side, same situation like how it was before 20 point, 25 points plus at 380 will be 405. So upper calendar was 405 and below calendar 380 minus 25 will be 355 but just to get extra room because we have already gone up so there was a good chance we will go down so just to give extra room i made it as 350 okay now going forward it didn't move much and you guys know i don't buy middle calendar at the start you know so i entered here it didn't reach even my middle you know here if uh, uh, on 2nd of November instead of it, it went it went down instead of that if it would have reached let's say 397 or something then I will check my if it has reached 10% profit if it it hasn't reached then I would have bought the middle calendar but here what happened it moved up little bit and it went down so this is an interesting case it went up it went down and when it went down it didn't go much it so it even didn't go halfway even in the downward side even in the upward side so that's why it is a very interesting case so it went up halfway it didn't reach so i didn't buy the middle calendar when it went down it didn't go even halfway so i didn't buy the middle calendar so it was just toggling around till this day so this whole my you know was not doing good so this is the downside of the down, double calendar strategy that if it doesn't move much then double calendar doesn't give you much profit triple calendar i will show you the triple calendar as well so if i would have bought the triple calendar from the start date then this would have helped me because it was moving around here only though so the middle calendar will give you profit but the upper and lower, the, the double calendar won't give you much profit. <coughs> so this is the, you know, side possibility which can happen. Usually it doesn't happen. Like usually what happens, sometimes it goes up a good amount. And then I buy the middle calendar. And some uh, sometimes it goes down. Then it goes, you know, by midpoint at least it reaches. Then I buy the middle calendar. It will reach at least here or here. This was the special case when it didn't move much. And it was doing just here toggling so uh, let's go this is a very interesting case but going forward would i do double calendar yes i will still stick around with double calendar why this is the reason i go 21 day to expiry options since it is 21 days there are a lot of room so you can see it didn't go do much but eventually last two days it moved i suddenly it gave some movement it was because of the cpi numbers but you will see some move so <coughs> the reason i keep 21 days is this in case it doesn't do for you know some days it just toggle around there are good chances i'm saying this there are good chances it will show some movement so this will be interesting case let's discuss <coughs> so i will be talking about both double and triple okay so on october 26th 350 and 400 just if i add these two then i will be getting the 113 uh, for double calendar if i do triple i also buy the middle which is at 380 then it will be 187 so i am if i buy this 381 also the 380 calendar then it will be 187 okay now let's see how going forward performed on october 27th 
the double calendar was in a loss of 7.96 percent the triple calendar was in a loss of 5.35 percent one more thing since pi is not doing much wix was also falling so that is also one thing wix was also falling so that is the reason even triple calendar also fall little bit that day <coughs> okay so uh, uh, okay yeah uh, on this day i bought few more uh, and my average was 1.09 so my double calendar so i was actually trading double calendar i didn't do triple calendar so instead of 7.96 my uh, average was 4.5 percent 4.15 percent loss on october 28th uh, double calendar was in a profit of 5.39 percent because pi moved instead of 382 uh, then it went to 379.98 and then it went 389 so this was the upper move it showed and because of that it was five percent profit if it would have continued you can see here let me remove this guy so this is this day if it would have continued let's say next day also it was a big move or some positive move and third day also it was a some positive move then here itself we would have seen 10 percent profit and we could have exited but let's see how it went next days anyway october 28th uh, double calendar was in a five percent profit and triple calendar did perform that great as double calendar because right now we have a direction when we have a direction then double calendar performs well okay and triple calendar doesn't help that time much but it is not as good as double calendar and with my averaging it was 9.68 percent profit i was not able to exit because it was 10 percent profit my profit target so it did execute it okay on number november 1st now spy went down again from 389 to 384 then you can see now double calendar started <coughs> performing uh, first then triple calendar now we are you know we are coming down back and because of that triple calendar is performing better than double calendar so in double calendar it was a 14 percent loss in triple calendar it was a six percent loss in my case since i averaged on my losses was 10.6 percent with double calendar this is my double calendar but with averaging okay now on november 2nd spy went down further so uh, the double calendar was in a 20 percent loss and the triple calendar is in a 9 percent loss again you can see double calendar is performing worse than uh, triple calendar the reason is it on november 2nd let's see where it is november 2nd it is here so we entered here and we are here only uh, then spy has to keep on going down then double will start giving prof, uh, you know better results than triple calendar right now it has just moved down so it is here only we entered at 380 and we are here only so that's why november 2nd is uh, double calendar is worse than triple calendar now on november 3rd oh, and also with my everything it was 70 percent loss on november 3rd we went down further little bit one percent and here also no, uh, this is 25% loss and this is triple candy 70% loss, but it is not this big. So here you can see 9 versus 20, almost double per double losses. Here it is not double, it is oh, here it is not double loss. So now we are picking a direction, we are going down. So now double candy is starting you, giving you little lesser, you know, some better performance than the last time. Now, if we continue going down, let's say on November 4th also, it was a move like here, then double calendar will be profit or very less, smaller losses, not 25%. Anyway, with my averaging, it was 22%. This was two things were happening. One, SPY was not moving much. Second, VIX was falling. And because of that, I was seeing these big losses. In, my, in calendars, this is big losses. 22 percent like that usually you don't see like in my previous examples whatever i've showed you they doesn't go this bad so sometimes it happens it was happening this time because vix was falling and i was not seeing the bigger moves so these two things <coughs> and also one more thing in between 18 and 25 there are two holidays the because of that also the 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 uh, the stock market will be closed for two or one and a half days something like that there are two holidays so there's lesser juice in this one week calendar that is also one more thing so these three things added together were giving this thing anyway let's say how it went further so november 4th 
double candle now on November 4th you can see here it went up again so it is just toggling so that is the reason double candle started giving you again bad first result double triple candle is doing better than that it is 12% loss but it is 30% more than double losses so double candle is not a good technique if it just you know toggle around the same point with my average it was 27% loss now on November 7th which is this date we again reach almost the same point where we started okay so the double candle will be the worst performer it was 36% loss <coughs> sorry and the triple candle was in a loss of 10% now you will say why triple candle is in a loss because this should have given you profit yes it gave 30% profit but it was not able, able to overcome these two guys again the reason is VIX is falling there are two holidays in this uh, two you know one week uh, uh, calendar so usually there's less you know juice in this calendar so I try to you know keep my investment low when there are holidays I haven't proven it I will you know dig more research more when there are holidays in a week like 18th November to 25th November on 24th November and 25th November 24th November will be a holiday and 25th will be half day so because of that there is less juice so this might also be the reason but uh, I have to research more about that but VIX falling is also a big thing and because of that this is giving you profit it is 30% profit which is not less but is not able to overcome the full you know thing but it is fine even then this happens 80% win ratio even then and anyway my I was in this double calendar not triple calendar so you can form your own strategy but I still prefer double calendars anyway on November 8th on November 8th what happened let's see okay it was around 381 so now triple calendar started <clears throat> giving you some almost negligible loss the reason was the dates are approaching and spies around the same point 0.5 post point point four percent is not like very small move so that is the reason triple calendar is performing well and double calendar is still 30 percent 29 percent loss in my case with averaging it was 26 percent loss on november 9th the double calendar gave me 34 percent loss okay again so here again now it if it would have you know taken the upper move if it if it would have continued this upper move my double candle would have performed better but like this was the worst trade it was not doing anything it was just toggling around this day now it started going down again so double calendar gave you 34 percent losses <coughs> sorry triple calendar gave you 15 percent loss now the loss increased the reason was it didn't stay here so that is the reason it gave you little loss 15 percent loss now with averaging it was 23 percent loss now on november 10th you guys remember the cpi number came so there was one trigger which created one big move and suddenly spy went by 5.5 percent that day actually that day i was able uh, why it is showing this thing okay uh, so that day i was able to see four percent profit and i exited the reason was i recovered from such big losses like you can see 26 23 percent and suddenly it gave 4 points profit then i thought okay let's exit this trade is not going as i expected so it's okay just exit and anyway i'm not exiting with the loss i am exiting with the profit so i exited this trade okay but by end of the day my this went from 4% to 22% <coughs> the reason was the whole day it was keep on going up 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 so I existed little early but I'm fine with this because this trade was little you know uh, not designed with my strategy sometimes you might have some bad trade so this might be one of them but I was happy that I was able to exit with the 
profit of 4%. But if I would have waited for like, let's say half an hour or something, I would have seen some 10% plus profit. And by end of the day, it was 22% profit. And without averaging, even then it was 5.31% profit. And with triple calendar, uh, the triple calendar, oh, sorry. The triple calendar was in a profit of 8%. This was also the reason being the upper calendar was giving you 68% profit. So even triple calendar gave you profit. So it is not like that, that here, okay, you were 3% less now, like you are performing better than double calendar. So here you will perform worst. It won't be worst, but it will be good. Like here, instead of 22, you will see 8% profit. So you could have exited here also that day. On November 11th, now you can see it have taken one good move. So again, now it is starting going up, up, up. Wherever it takes uh, one, you know, direction that double calendar performs well. So with double calendar, my averaging and everything, it was 43% profit. 43% profit. You can imagine how much money it has given. This is a safe strategy. This is a like, you know, you can say slow and steady strategy in in calendars you are getting these profits in double calendar without averaging you were able to see 23 percent profit with triple you were able to see 6.95 percent profit so this is also good and if i have entered as a triple calendar i would not have exited anywhere here i would not have even exited on eight percent what i would have done is i would have waited for the next day so on 12th of uh, sorry on 14th of uh, on today like when the market will open on monday that day i'm pretty sure because we are still within the trading zone the now on friday it closed at 395 closed at 398 and our trading zone is still 405 so even if it goes up 405 will start giving you more profit if it goes lower then 380 and 350 will start giving you profit so i'm pretty confident that it will reach better numbers, maybe 10%. So if I have traded the triple calendar, I would not have exited here. There's a good chance by Monday, but I won't wait or I will, what I will do is I will exit half. I'll exit half, but there's good chance it will give you better profit on Monday. So if I were you, I, I won't wait for longer than that because of the Vega move, but till Monday I would have waited and taken the profit and I'm pretty sure it will be better than these numbers because both sides, either it goes up or down, you will be, you know, better off since you are within the trading zone. So anyway, this was a very good trade in my, and it helped me also to understand this scenario, how it performs when, you know, SPY is not moving much for a lot, you know, long duration. <coughs> sorry and i am uh, going forward would i do triple calendar no because the re the beauty about this strategy is i give so many days 21 days to expiry which gives you so many days it we i entered it uh, on uh, 26th of october 26th and i have till 11th of november okay so i have two more than two weeks two and a half weeks like that so there's good chance it will move and it might happen like it move here and then it comes back so i will buy you know middle candidate for this point this time it didn't move much that's why i was missing it and vix was falling and also there were one and a half day off in this pair which i picked so all this reason triggered it and even then i was able to see uh, some four percent profit this way and even if it, let's say, if uh, I would not have seen this day, let's say here also it was small this day, then I would have seen some 23% or something like that return, right? 23, 22, like that type, 20, some 20 or 30% loss will be there. So, but with the win ratio of uh, 80%, so one day, one time if I get 30%, I am fine with that. So, I'm still very confident with this strategy. Sometimes straight to go, you know, sideways and but with one with 80% profit, sorry, 80% win ratio, I'm happy with this type of trade and I will going forward, I will still do the double candle starting and whenever it is midway, I'll buy the 
मिडिल खंड सो आई होप यू लर्न अ लॉट दिस वीडियो वेंट लिटिल लॉन्गर इट हैज ऑलरेडी मीन थर्टी फाइव मिनट्स सो आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो दिस लॉट ऑफ यू नो लर्निंग इन दिस वीडियो आई होप यू गेट सम इन्फो सम लर्निंग एंड यू आर ऑल्सो मोटिवेटेड इट इज लिटिल कॉम्प्लेक्स आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट बट लुकिंग एट दिस गिवस यू मी लॉट ऑफ मोटिवेशन uh in 2022 when spy the stock market is doing so unpredictable whenever i try to guess where it will go up or down it goes somewhere other, other way around even in such a scenario we are doing so great with this strategy so i am very happy and i will highly encourage you guys to learn this strategy start paper trading start you if once you get some more, some confidence you you know start with small investment <coughs> also do participate in that giveaway i'll help you guys coach you guys uh put your questions in the comment section below put your feedback and also don't forget to put the keyword session so that i will know that you are interested to participate in this giveaway i'll randomly pick one lucky winner and i will give him or her opportunity to talk to me one to one you can clarify your doubts feedbacks whatever you want to ask you will have opportunity to talk to me so please comment below and also give me idea suggestions which you have how i can help you guys to learn the strategies thank you all the information i shared in this video is for your knowledge purpose please do your own research before placing any trades See you in the next video.